When I started that reviewing your designs, like commenting on subscribers design series, I was very optimistic that I can even do once a month. This is the first episode of review of sessions and I'm planning to do this once in a month or some kind of regular basis. But the first video was three years ago and in total we did only 10 episodes. And the last episode was 11 months ago so it is time to comment on your designs. If you don't know what I'm talking about because it's possible, if you are new to channel maybe you didn't see previous episodes, basically you can send your designs, send your sketches, renders, whatever you want to berkmydesign at gmail.com and for the next episode I picked the designs, I picked works of yours from this email address and basically I comment on them. By the way, this allergy season, I don't know if you suffer from allergies as well, sorry for that, but I hate it. So welcome to episode 11 and we're gonna start with David. He is 18 and from London and I picked this sketch of him because it is quite correct I would say, many of things are correct. When I look at the perspective lines, the perspective, overall perspective and the proportions of the car, I think it's quite good. It's like a correct car proportions I would say, more or less. So the comment I would give is more about the design of the car and also some missing parts. For example, I cannot read, like I can see it's more or less like a coupe silhouette, coupe proportions type of car. And I can see these are the rear lights and so on. So some elements are visible, but the surfaces, the volumes of the car is not visible. For example, especially here, I have no idea what's happening. Like, do we have a flat volume here? Like this surface comes here and becomes the wheel part. Or do we have more like it's going down and then creating like a flat shoulder line? Or maybe do we have here like a volume of the shoulder? Something goes maybe like that. There is no information on your sketch. So this creates the problem of understanding your idea. And also to see the perspective or proportions with a different eye, because when you sketch, when you focus on your sketch too much, you, you might miss some mistakes. So the basic rule that I mentioned also probably all my previous episodes of commenting on your designs is flipping the image, mirroring the image on Photoshop or looking at your sketch from the other side of the paper. So I mirrored your sketch. So the first thing I did is actually mirroring your sketch and still the proportions and perspective are quite okay. And we can see here, I just draw quickly the perspective. Line. Okay, one thing is the wheels. I just realized what I fixed because if this is your perspective lines here, if it's coming like that, for the wheels you need to draw a 90 degree line which will create the second axis of your wheel and it's more correct now on this perspective but more or less it was already there, it's not a big deal but still this one is more correct. Then after that I just lowered the opacity of your sketch to go through further and I did like I used more or less your silhouette, more or less your lines. I just made it shorter here. And as you see, I even use the graphic elements and the design of your sketch more or less, but I added a volume here. And also there are many unrefined parts of your car. For example, the rear part, like you put some exhaust here, but to me it feels a little bit shy. It's like you wanted to keep them small and kind of like scared exhaust pipes but also you wanted to put four of them. So it's actually, you want some strong, strong character there. So I feel like you have this confusion. That's why I wanted to exaggerate them a bit more. I just pushed them out and I put the four exhaust pipes as you did and added a couple of like little surfacing and diffuser area here. But basically I just fixed your wheels and I added some volume here. And this is the new version of your sketch. And to visualize it further, one step further in a very fast way, I used Viscom AI. Within a couple of minutes, I got this result. So still keeping the sketchy feeling, but we can see better the volumes and better reflections. And Viscom is the sponsor of this video, so thank you for that. Basically, if you are not aware, it is an amazing AI tool that you can put your sketches to render faster and also support your design process with it. Viscom is also a big part of my AI for car design course that you can see the details on description. And if you want to directly try Viscom, just go to viscom.ai and you can start trying it for free. But also an important note here, the basics of sketching, basics of car design is very important before jumping into AI, because at the end AI is just a tool and you need to feed it with the right ideas, with the right proportions and perspective. It's actually better to show it with examples, with visuals, so let's jump into the next one. This sketch is done by Fethi from Turkey, and it's nice to see some other Turkish people in this channel, so thank you for sending your work. The first thing I see here is the exaggerated proportions, which is nice, like exaggerated perspective. It's nice at some point, but it's a little bit too exaggerated, so it feels a bit cartoonish. 
What I mean is, if these are your perspective lines, for example, this one is a little bit off, by the way, it is going a little bit, if you see, this one and this one is kind of parallel and this one is opened up a little bit. And it's actually opposite of what we do. Like, you can keep it even parallel or getting closer to others, but when it goes away from it, it feels wrong already, like the car is bending somehow. And the next thing is, like on the previous one, if this is the perspective line, the wheel should be like 90 degrees axis to it. So your wheel seems like after an accident or highly modified car. And the car in general looks like the whole side of it is kind of bending to the middle of the car. Again, it's nice to exaggerate some elements of the car for catching the emotions. We do it very often on car design sketches, but it is a little bit too much. And he already put this sketch into Viscom to get some results. And you can see like that's what I meant about using AI. It's pretty cool, like nice reflections and so on. But still you can see the car is a little bit like, it feels like a toy or it looks like a little bit cartoonish. And that's what I mean by you need to have strong bases of the car sketch first. So what I did was I took your sketch, I flipped it and you can see even clearly now when you just mirror the image, I didn't change anything and you can see it's a little bit too cartoonish, let's say, like a wrong perspective, basically. And here we can see these lines, like this, these are the new wheels, like totally different angle. And I just sketched over by keeping your design more or less the same, but I just changed the side of the car and the wheels a little bit. You can see that now, rather than the side is like this, it got a bit more corrected version, corrected angle. And then I just increased my lines thickness, and this is the cleaner version of the sketch. And then I also put it in Viscom to compare this two. And it is not super detailed render out of Viscom, but you can see the car feels like still exaggerated, huge wheels. In reality, the wheels will not look like this, but it looks more like a correct car design sketch in an artistic way, rather than cartoonish way that you did. And here is the comparison again. You can see that on the left, it's a bit more like a cartoonish. And on the right, we have a bit more like a design sketch feeling. The next sketch is from Robert and I picked this one because he, he even painted it, he used some, I think, markers or some other way to paint the car. But again, like before using AI or before even painting or some people directly jump into Photoshop, before doing any of this visual effects, let's say, you need to really focus on the perspective and proportions. And that's a very good example of it because I see that you focused on the details, the idea, the reflections and so on. But the main structure of the car is a little bit wrong. So we need to fix it first. And that's why on my car design sketching course, I focus only on the basics. If you want to learn proportions, perspective, line quality, line weight, and all the basics to sketch cars on paper, I highly recommend you to check out my car design sketching course on my website, barkaplan.com. And let's see it as an example on this sketch. So first thing is again, flipping the image on the other side because we can see it in a better way. Like when you do the sketch yourself, when you spend that much time on the details, especially, you probably lose the idea of the perspective or the big picture, let's say. So it's better to zoom out sometimes, like get a little bit further from your sketch and flip the image. So you can see the mistakes yourself in a better way. And here, that's what I meant also on the previous sketch, but way more exaggerated version because these lines are going to this direction, like these are the perspective lines, and the roof of the car is going on totally different direction. They should get closer to each other or they should stay parallel, but never go away from each other because it, that's just how perspective works. So this makes the car feel like it's bended or after accident or something. So first thing is fixing this part and also the proportions of your car. Like I guess you did an SUV, the reason I feel it's an SUV is like you have big wheels and the ground clearance is like on the half of the wheel. So it feels like it's a very high car. So I assume that you wanted to make an SUV, but the rest of the car is more like a hatchback. So I was a bit confused, like which type of car you wanted to sketch here. If the wheels were smaller or the ground clearance was like closer to the ground, let's say, maybe I would understand better it's a hatchback and you didn't write on the email what type of car you wanted to sketch so I assumed you wanted to make an SUV and on the proportions we see that you have only two wheels in between it's also a little bit too small more like an exaggerated compact car and you have only one door so I, I'm actually really maybe thinking you did more like an urban car or a small car but I stick to the SUV idea on this review because I see this kind of examples many times. So to make it an SUV, I sketched over your sketch, like to keep more or less close to your original one. 
And as you see, I just extended the wheelbase a little bit further. I pushed the wheels to the edge of the car and I made the car a little bit higher. I moved the roof up and I fixed the perspective lines. I used the reference as your front of the car and I kept the grand clearance more or less same to keep it as an SUV. And as you see, I also extended the car to the rear because if you want like a volume of an SUV, we wanted to we need to extend it as well. And here is the clean version of the sketch. And then on your original sketch, I divided the car in different pieces to stretch basically your sketch to fit into my SUV lines. And that's what I did here. And you can see already the difference. Like even if we have like some gaps in between the parts and so on, you can feel now it's like an SUV just by changing the proportions and perspective. You don't even see my sketch here, but if you compare with the original one already, let's put them side by side. The one on the left is confused. The one on the right is clearly an SUV. And the next thing was using your own colors and just filling the gaps on Photoshop so we can understand better the whole volume. And then I also put it in Viscom to see what kind of results we get. I didn't want to get so much far from the original sketch, so I used it as a reference in Viscom as well. And as you can see now, we have a clearly SUV like with a solid stance on the ground. But to see the difference, I also put your original sketch into Viscom with the same parameters to see what will happen and this is the result we got. They both have good reflections and nice sketchy lines and render of Viscom. It's there's no problem on that part. Even on your original sketch it was like a nice painting over the sketch but the bases are super important for that reason. You, you can see there are totally different feelings from the same idea let's say. So on today's episode we can summarize it as the basics are super important. Still perspective and the proportions are very important and we generally talked about the sketching part. We didn't even jump into the design because creativity and your ideas are also super important. At the end design is about showing your own vision and showing your own ideas but when these basics are wrong on your sketches they are kind of limiting you. You cannot put your own ideas on paper because of these limits, or this lack of knowledge and experience about perspective proportions and the sketching skills. Again, that's why I did my sketching course and I'm planning to make some updates on it. And of course, the updates will be free. So if you are interested in bringing your sketches into next level, and if you are a beginner especially, you can be more confident after my sketching course. This allergy is really not fun. If you want to be part of the next episode, Again, I will try to do it more often. At least this time there won't be 11 months of gap. I'm sorry for that. You can send your works to bergmydesign at gmail.com. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more car design content and give me a like to show you like the video if you like it. See you in the next video.